So with the Phantom Liberty DLC, they added in brand new legendary Mantis Blades. These are called the Max Tac Mantis Blades. And today, guys, I will show you both ways to get these. How's it going, people? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the Max Tac Mantis Blades and how you get them. Okay, so there are two ways. Firstly, guys, do you remember that Bullets mission, a part of the base game where you meet Melissa, the woman for the OG trailer and teasers for Cyberpunk 2077? Well, if you didn't do this mission, guys, you can actually go back here and retrieve these Mantis Blades from her. To do this, guys, come to right here on the map and you want to head into this upper class clothing store. In here, guys, speak to the vendor. Select any dialogue choice, it doesn't matter. Once you've done this guys, you want to run far enough away and probably skip time a little. Here, he should have a side mission pop up for you to do. So upon you going back to him and clearing through any of his dialogue, you will notice a cyber psycho will start attacking the store. Once you take him out, Max Tech will arrive and the leader of the pack is Melissa Rory. Now here is where it gets pretty hard, you need to take her down. So pull out your weapon and attack. Now I won't lie, this is one hard fight due to the instant 5 stars and the other max attack guards here. So if you didn't do this initially, because if you've already done this, obviously it won't be here for you to do again. But if you didn't do this initially and you're at that end game and you're overpowered, this should be much, much easier for you. For me, I had to load up an old save, so it was way, way harder. So I had to figure out an easy way to take her down. So that's what I did. So upon the end of the bullets mission, guys, when the cyber psycho has been taken down and you can see her standing there in a max tack uniform with those mantis blades out. Here, guys, you need to draw your weapon on her. Now, I recommend you using a tech sniper here. I mean, it makes things way, way easier or any sniper will do. Make sure you got ammo in it too. So here, guys, go to the door of this clothing shop. Take aim at her. Shoot. If you got a grenade, just drop one. Then, guys, you want to run as I do to get up high. From this spot right here people, you can pick these guards off and once you clear them out, sometimes Melissa is there standing there in the distance, you can take her out easily. If she isn't, you have to jump down and lead her out into the open. Once you do this, jump back up. She 99% of the time just stands there on the spot allowing you to take her down with no issue. From here guys, once you do this, loot her body. Now this can drop as a legendary piece, but there's also a chance that it won't drop at all, or it can drop as an epic variant, as it did for me. Reloading a save, I mean you can try and farm this to get the best variant, but I don't think that's needed because you can upgrade this piece. But once you have it guys, you still have 5 stars to clear. Here, call in your car, drive off, uh, probably about a mile away, a kilometer away, then get up high and hide. You should be good here. Now, if you have enough components, again, you can upgrade this thing at any Reaper Duck. So the farming part and trying to reload the save and going back all through taking out all the max attack guards probably isn't the way to go about this. Okay, so if you originally did the mission back in the day, the bullets mission, obviously you can't go back and do this, but you do have a second option in doing this. And before we go any further guys, I must say, spoiler warnings lay ahead. So if it ain't at the end of this game yet, uh, probably skip away the video now if you don't want to know details. Okay, so when you get to that end game fire starter mission, where you have to choose between Reed and Songbird, if you choose to side with Reed, upon you completing this fire starter mission, your next mission will be called Black Steel in the Hour of Chaos. At the start of this mission guys, you want to opt to call Mr. Hands. Within this convoy, you need to get his contact to extract the information, but it costs you 15k. Pay this. You will then be directed to a netrunner called Yoko within Kabuki. Here, you need to accept her proposal. Once you start speaking to her, she will offer you a proposal. Accept it. You then progress on guys to message Reed and then go ahead and meet him as you set up for this convoy attack. Now here, you will firstly speak to Reed. 
You'll then speak to the Sixth Street soldier who sets up all those traps. And from here, guys, you'll then go ahead and speak to Reed and clear out all his dialogue. From this point, you'll have the option to message Mr. Hans about the coordinates. You want to take this option and do so. From here, guys, you'll go to attack the convoy and take out Max Tech. And from here, Mr. Hans supposedly should text you and message you saying he's left you something in your mega building apartment. This is where it gets a little bit buggy. I myself, personally, I received no text or call initially from Mr. Hans. I then went on to finish the story with still absolutely nothing from Mr. Hans about this gift in my mega building apartment. I then noticed guys, I had a mission for Mr. Hans called Run This Town. So I went ahead and completed this Run This Town mission. Upon completing this guys, I went ahead and skipped time. I did this literally five times. I was skipping time, running about 40 meters, skipping time again, running about 40 meters, skipping time again. I did this guys and it triggered something. He called me saying that he had left me something in my mega building apartment. Hey, I'm tipping my proverbial hat. The data you procured, so interesting and valuable as to be testicle ticklingly delightful. Stellar work. First, happy to oblige. Second, won't ask how you're gonna use it. As if I tell you. Yet I will betray another tidbit. I'm sending something to your mega building unit. A token of my appreciation. Till next time, V. Hold on, hands. How the f do you know where I? So I don't know if it's tied to completing the Run This Town mission or it's just buggy, but this is how it worked for me. And also, if you ignore the call, he will text you. But guys, when I got to my mega building apartment, the loot box was there, but I couldn't access it. I couldn't get these MaxTac Mantis blades. So what I did from here is I created a manual save on the spot. I quit out my game fully from the dashboard, I loaded it back up and they were there for me to grab. So I hope this helps you out if you're experiencing the same kind of bugs I were. But there we have it guys, that's how you get the MaxTac Mantis Blades within Cyberpunk 2077. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.